everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Dance Talk Realness, a podcast where we discuss all nuances concerning education and dance, because the dance experience is an experience worth talking about. I'm your host, Truly B, and I'm here with my lovely co-host, Daryl P. How you doing, boo? Good. Um, there ain't no plan for the day. It's fine. It is what it is. Keeping that real. Um, however, before we jump into all the foolishness, today's quote is, I don't know who it's from. Sorry. Not really sorry. Excuse me. Bless you. Staying positive doesn't mean you have to be happy all the time. It means that even on hard days, you know that there are better ones coming. Figured I could use that little bit of positivity because times are hard. The struggle is real. And yes. All the way real. (laughs) Like, I'm like, can it just be a, a smidge less real? I would greatly appreciate yeah however though so daryl you're taking charge today because (laughs) responsible adults (laughs) i just my soul is weary not today (laughs) it's fine good so so i was thinking you know today could be a fun like just kind of recapping or looking back at some of our episodes um Mm -hmm. And there can be some that I've been in and some that I've not been in and um, just kind of reiterating or maybe diving a little deeper into some of those things that might have been um, touched on and then not, and then not really, um, we haven't dived, dived deeper or dove deeper, but, or we could just, you know, just bring those conversations back up because I think they're all conversations that, um, you know, are important. Like for instance, um, I received an email today about, um, how from, from work, how we would try to bridge the, um, learning gap Mm -hmm. from the spring semester into the fall semester. Um, and I thought that was interesting because I, I guess I'm only really doing that with like a, a certain number of students, right? Like mm-hmm. I have a large chunk of, of students who are having me for the first time. So there is really no gap, at least in my content area, there really is no gap in that, um, and then the ones that are returning, I feel like they did they do they have some gaps in their training? Probably, yeah, for sure. You know, they didn't get live, but I feel like we're gonna still have some gaps even after this first two quarters. Mm-hmm. You know, that we're going to be virtually. So I think it's it's interesting that we're going to take the time to fill that gap when I feel like we're just, I mean, this. it's one of those things that I, I, I worry that, you know, when you had things like No Child Left Behind um, and you start having, you start enacting these things that, you know, of course, I maybe they're meant to, to improve the learning or enhance the learning, but I think I think that sometimes the way they're done is never um, they're just never executed well enough, that, in my opinion, to be really effective. If that makes sense. Yeah, no, that makes complete sense. Um, that is usually my concern with things like that. That I'm like. Mm but is, is is this actually gonna work though because this don't sound like this is the thing we should be doing um I don't know how much of this information you can share but I I am curious are they are they saying like a a across the board type of we need to bridge this gap or did they try to break it down into content uh-huh. I think it's I think it's going to be broken down into content across Mm -hmm. across the board um, um, from our fourth quarter to our first quarter um, trying to bridge that gap Um, 
So I, I'm assuming, I, and I didn't really read the email all the way through, um, but I, you I, like I, me. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I, what I'm, what I'm thinking is that it will include taking some time in the beginning of the fall mm -hmm. to bridge, to do that bridging. But that also takes up time from what I would normally do yeah. in the fall anyway. You know what I mean? So once again, you're further, you're further pushing that gap. I mean, you're pushing that gap further out. You know what I mean? Which I feel like if there are gaps, if there are gaps, I think that there are ways to fill that in um, while still moving forward. I mean, I think, I mm -hmm. feel like that is like our, the name of the game in, in this day and age in education where you get students in the classroom who are, who are all over the place, right? That who level wise or um, abilities are very are varying. So you have no choice but to teach from a place where you're bridging gaps with every lesson, multiple multiple size gaps, um, gaps in different places, while still moving forward. So I so I kind of disagree with the use of time to focus solely on, and I don't know if this is really how they're doing it, I hope not, use of time to solely focus on this gap between fourth quarter and first quarter, which, which would then put the, us behind in our content mm -hmm. moving forward. You know what I mean? So, yeah. um, so it'll it will be it will be interesting to see how that all works out. Like I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so but I know so, it is by content because we are get being given more context. Um, we meet with our content. You know how we always have that one content day. Yeah. Content. So that's when we're supposed to get a little bit more information okay yeah so and again hoping this is not what they mean but what it sounds like though is starting the school year with all right so these are things that you may have missed out on in the spring mm -hmm. let me cover these things and then we'll move forward into what it is you should be in right now mm -hmm. okay yeah uh -oh. no Let's, yeah, I need that not to happen because that's dumb. Like, and not saying that there were things, that there weren't things missed. 100% there were. Everybody. Yeah. Like, it, it was just wild everywhere. But, like you were saying, I feel like that kind of, at least may, maybe I'm assuming for us, for, for our content area, yeah. going into the school year, by default, I'm already like, somebody going to be in this room who there's something that did not compute, something you missed, you came late, you're just showing up, they dropped you in here. Right. I'm going to have to go back, mm -hmm. but also I'm still going to be following this plan that I'm supposed to follow for this year for this course. Right. So it's... Well, I don't know right. what that would look like in anyone else's class, but I mean, to me, that's just part, part of it. Like I would think. Well, like, yeah, like I couldn't, I feel like whenever I was in like a, like in middle school, when I was in like sixth grade math, like I just never mm -hmm. felt like we would like at the beginning of seventh grade, why would we not review yeah. What we did because we've, I mean, no matter what, we had two and a half months or more or, yeah. or so off. And you anyway. know, we weren't doing none of you the know, we, problems. You, you know, I wasn't doing any of the work at none. all. So it's only natural that you would start the year off with a little bit of a recap anyway. So yeah, that, so that I get, and maybe, and maybe this plan is, is for it to be a little bit more intentional than what mm -hmm. most people would do because then that makes sense like I get that you want to have like an intentional recap of the things that you might have missed or you don't or you don't remember 
Yeah. And I think as dancers and in dance classes, that's what we would do anyway. Yeah. Um, and then especially for the ones who are dance one, there is no gap. Mm-hmm. Well, unless, I guess unless, I mean, you know, I don't usually get any dancers that, um, I don't usually get dancers that have taken dance in middle school. Mm-hmm. Um, sometimes, I, I mean, I have before, but it, it, even even still, like, I would start off the same way I start any year off anyway. Yeah. Um, and I actually, I did a little bit of planning for myself a couple nights ago. So my plan was to kind of do some recapping and, and um, review anyway. So, but I just wouldn't want it to be three, which I also thought I heard or saw that I wouldn't want it to be three weeks of that. Oh yeah, no. That's too much. Like I'll give you a week. I give you a week. I give you a week of maybe so two two to four classes of of actually review, recapping, reassessing mm-hmm. some things, and then after that we moving on. Yeah. And and even still, we moving on in each of those classes. Like it'll be like I wouldn't. It would be smart to take a chunk of what you did in whatever genre, like say if your focus is gonna be ballet to start with, recap ballet, but in that same week, let's move a little bit further and learn a little bit more um, to kind of just keep progressing. Not yeah. just like a week of totally like, we gonna drill this, drill this, drill this, drill this, drill this, okay, we're gonna take some type of assessment over it. All right, now I know that you, you're you caught up, you know? Yeah. So, um, yeah, it'll be it'll be interesting to see. I just I worry about like, you know, some of the students who just struggle with like dance anyway or language and and all that other stuff. Like what that means for them. So mm, true. Yeah. So yeah. So that's like you know school restarting. Um, when is the first day of school? I should know these things. <laughs> the thirty, the thirty first, okay. August thirty first is our Oof. first, the first day back. Okay. Um, and you know that then I was also thinking about like my concerts, and I also worry. I still don't really know, because like I said, this is my fourth year at, at my school, and so I'm always like, you know what, for my four year seniors who've you know been dancing and you know they are super talented I still don't know what to think of like you know our colleges going I mean well you're going back face to face right mm-hmm. Lord yeah. Yeah. <laughs> thoughts and prayers cause... right I know some other I know some <sighs> other kids who are going back face to face into their dance classes so I just worry like how do you prepare how do you prepare dance students for this new digital world? Mm. You know yeah. what I mean? Like how how will how can I um because I mean I think you know things obviously we all know things are gonna be totally different now. Yeah. So like what you know should we be should in my dance four should we be working on we probably should be working on dance reels let's let's learn a bunch of choreography and let's work on some dance reels. let's work on how to market yourself yeah. virtually because you may not be able to audition in person you know mm-hmm. if, if the plan is to do that or if you do um you know just how to prepare for that basically which you know not mad at that per se um man it just sucks <laughs> like i'm sure it sucks for a lot of other people but mm-hmm. i really dislike not being in the space mm-hmm. um and so even though we're going back on my campus face to face um first of all that's still wild to me that it's happening and i'm just like oh for real we're showing up <laughs> okay you say so y'all trusting these folks to wear masks huh yeah i don't trust it so we're gonna see how long this this actually goes for but 
I'm actually in both of my classes, um, and I do need to email this information out sometime in the near future, um, they'll be divided into groups. And so I'm only going out there twice a week. Um, but like, let's say the modern class, cause that one's a more regular class schedule. So group one will only be there on Tuesdays. Group two will only be there on Thursdays. And on their opposite days, they'll be um, watching virtually. Mm. Um, and I'm like, okay, for me, I'm like, okay, so what does that do to attendance? Because, you know, like for us, attend well, I mean, for everybody, attendance is important. But I'm like, yeah, you might need to actually be here. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. yes, I can record it. But if I can't actually look at you and give you a specific correction for you, then to me, that's putting that student at a disadvantage almost. Um, because, you know, like, yeah, we know that, okay, if a teacher gives you a correction, then I'm like, oh, mm, let me keep that in mind so I don't make that same mistake. But, like, both of my classes are, like, entry-level dance classes, modern one, movement one. So I'm like, it's high highly unlikely I have any dancers. I know one student has told me that she danced when she was little. I actually, I really hate that sentence, but you know, bless them for trying. I, right. There you go. Right. And then another one, I actually taught her in the spring. Mm. And I was like, yeah, thanks for taking another one of my classes. It's good to have you back. Um, and what I remember of her, she used to do um, figure skating. Oh. And so that's also a different type of mentality to deal with mm -hmm. i don't know I've, I've taught like a class full of figure skaters and i was like y'all really be out here thinking y'all know everything <laughs> stop <laughs> and i thought maybe it was just them but then i met this one i was like oh is this is this a thing yeah. so now i'm actually legit curious if it's something like ingrained in them in that sport activity yeah. sport. this is sport right that's sport yeah all right sport yeah um so yeah so it's i don't care for doing this online thing because i know i already know i'm not going to pay attention to that computer screen enough i will yeah. try to but i know when i have bodies in front of me i don't look so hopefully they were yeah. able to get me a ta and the ta can be like hey <laughs> these yeah. people go and i can like try to balance that better so you're gonna have so they have the option of being in person or virtual. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, so far, because I emailed them, and so far everyone says that they're down for the hybrid situation. Mm -hmm. um, and I think I only had one who wasn't quite sure, mm -hmm. but said that he would try, but he said he might also drop the class. <laughs> I was like... Mm -hmm. All right, babe, do what you do. Yeah. It's enough people in this class. Like, my numbers are fine. Like, I'm not worried about, not to say it like that, not that I want people dropping my class, but I'm not like, if the cap is, like, if the limit to keep the class is like five, it's not like I got five people in there and I'm like, oh my God, please don't go. Right. I'm like, I have enough numbers that I'm like, okay, well, if he drops, mm, I'll be all right. Yeah. Um, I'm like, do whatever you need to do because I need this to be not stressful for anyone involved in this class. Yes. So, like, my writing assignments, I'm cutting that way down because, number one, I don't want to look at it. Number two, they're not going to want to do it. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, let's just not worry about it. So, for, like, the one class, um, the larger class, they're in three groups. Mm -hmm. So, it's like, all right, um, each content is going to be two weeks. So, it's four mm -hmm. classes. So, I'm like, all right. Class one, group one is in person. Class two, group two is in person. Three, group three is in person. And then on the fourth one is when they get assessed. And so I'll see all three, but they'll have a 30 minute window. Mm. And I'm like, all right, well, group one, you come at eight, you got to eight to 8.30. Five minute switch over. Then group two, 8.35 to 9.05. Mm. Move you on out the way. Group three, 9.10 to 9.40. Mm -hmm. And then I'll have like a break before the next class. Um, 
which I don't like it, but then I was like, I just could not do this whole thing online. I don't have a space, number one. And it feels weird to me to be talking and teaching to like open space. <laughs> so I was like, nah, forget that. Somebody gonna be up in here with me. So y'all gonna yeah. have to dance with these masks on. So I don't know how we gonna make that work. Um, Cause at least for modern, I'm like, well, I already know two of the combinations because I just be teaching those combinations off the rip. I'm like, I'm not choreographing nothing new for a modern one class. You're going to learn this dance. Mm -hmm. And then as you move up, I'm like, okay, I will choreograph for the higher levels. Mm -hmm. um, but those two dances, first of all, they're hard. <laughs> those should not be level one dances, but That's they awesome. are now. <laughs> You're college. You'll work it out. You're smart. So I'm like, I don't, I've never done them with a mask on. I don't know how this is about to go, but I'm also not changing my plan at this point because now I'm just like, all right, let me figure out the warm up. Then y'all just gonna have to like, if you need to get water, get water, do what you gotta do. Those of y'all on video, have the water next to you. Do do what you need to, but we're yeah. about to power through this because I can't, I can't do this not being in the space. Like I have, yeah. I need that personally. Yeah. but it's going to be weird. Mm -hmm. And I know for a fact, these kids are not going to have these masks on like in the dorms or like when they eat or any of the, like just walk. They're, General spaces. Yeah. They're not going to like, let's and be I, real. Yeah. And I, and I've seen, I have some friends that are kind of all over and they're, you know, some are studio owners. Some of them mm -hmm. are working in studios. And I've seen them recording their kids who were all wearing masks in these, mm -hmm. in these spaces. Um, so somehow they're making, they're making it work. Like, I don't know if they are, you know, maybe it's just all about chunking, right? So like, you know, I'm going to teach for 30 minutes mm -hmm. and we're going to have, or 15 minutes and we're going to have a break where you grab water, you get to kind of take your mask away from your face for a little bit. Um, breathe, and then we'll teach for another. I'll count, kind of like these workouts I'm doing with uh, yes. with insanity, right? So it's like 20 seconds, 30 seconds, and then yeah, like a 10 second, a 10 second break. Well, obviously they would be a little bit more than 10 seconds breaks, but um, yeah. just a, a a chance to um, just being more mindful of those of the breaks and like of maybe the washing of the hands and you know mm, even, even yeah. choreography might be a little bit different too now that you know some places are like you know they can't go to the floor and um, um, I'm going to the floor yeah no I, I hear you I hear you uh, <laughs> wash y'all hands yeah yeah like, I'm sorry yeah and I think it, it gives it just leads itself to a lot of creativity right and like and just and also just planning more like I don't know what some of the like if I had a dance studio like it's I mean, it's just all about planning and it's also about providing the sense of security, even though you have no idea, mm -hmm. you have no idea how secure this is going to be. Mm -hmm. You can only, you can say what you're doing and how you're trying to prevent it, but there, you know, there's, there's no guarantees um, as to the, as to the, the effectiveness of the, of the plans that we're all putting in place, right? Yeah. Like, um, and I think that some people are just kind of taking a chance and saying, you know, yeah, we don't know the effectiveness of these plans, but we're just gonna move, we're just gonna move forward anyway, just because, you know, why not, why not do that? Yeah. Um, and I and I get it. Like, there's some places, there's some states like in Florida where they're going back with no protective gear at all, and. Uh, you know, there's just some, there's some risks that I think are too risky yes. um, and are a little foolish, but, you know, I, 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 I applaud those parents that are like, yeah, go back, Billy, Sarah, go back. <laughs> and we're going back to work. You know what I mean? Leave. I, 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 <laughs> it's like, mm, really, leave. Really, like, leave. <laughs> go, go to go school. Back. Go, go to school. You'll be fine. You'll be okay. Like, oh my I just God. don't know who those parents are but i but hey you know <laughs> let me be very real because i would love for them not to be up in here but i don't know that i would have sent them back like pg yeah. was talking about yeah we gonna be up in here i'm like i don't know about these three though 
Yeah. They need the option. Yeah. But like like we talked about before though, like I'm not the the that condensed plan that they sent out that's tentative for the spring. I was like, okay, if that was the plan, I could have maybe been like, give it a couple months, we'll see how this goes. And if it's all right, then I'll go ahead and let my kids come. But uh I just my biggest thing is if I could trust that everyone was doing everything they possibly could to reduce their exposure and reduce spreading anything, Mm -hmm. I would be more apt to be like, okay, you know what? Yes. But I know folks been out in these streets. Like, okay, like I legit, and I've said this before, I have neighbors, like not like the house next to me, but like in in the neighborhood have been Mm -hmm. having full blast parties. Like, I know all these people don't live in your house. Y'all out yeah. in the yard. It's like y'all not even in the house with it. Like y'all is like, we don't care. Rona's over. And it's like, no, no, it's not. <laughs> we it's yeah. still out here, y'all. And I mean, full going parties, all the people, like they had like um, you know, like some of these businesses have like the traveling party. So it'd be like a trailer, mm-hmm. like of a truck, and it's like set up to do something. They had that out there. And I'm just like, y'all. I guess child, I don't even know who I was going but I, I went past it and I was like y'all re- oh alright so I'm like I know for a fact and then there was like a lot of kids so I'm like definitely school age so I'm like I know y'all ain't been out here doing what you're supposed to do right. not enough of you clearly so right. I'm like no I don't want my kids to go be around y'all because I know my kids have had minimal situations they've been in where they could have been exposed. Mm-hmm. I, mean, I don't know about these other people's kids. I don't know. Some folks have been out here having full blown parties <laughs> and yeah. I'm like, no, I don't like it. I don't trust it. So I think that's my issue with it because yeah. I am 1000% ready for them to be about the house for yeah. their seven and a half hours a day or whatever. Like I'm, I'm prepared for that. <laughs> like y'all got get out, get out of my house. I'm tired. Yeah. But everybody doesn't follow the rules right and so i'm like hi ah, dog it I, I i really wish everyone did though because then i would feel better about it like um there was a picture i saw um that they said it was like from some high school in georgia mm. hallway full of kids i think they said yeah i think i think they said it was a high school full of bodies like not like you know how the hallways be mm-hmm First of all, it looked like how the hallways be when there's a fight. That's how it looked. That's how many bodies were out there. It was all the bodies, compact. And you can spot, I would say, 10 or less kids with masks on. Everybody else just chilling. And I'm like, guys, (laughs) what? And I'm like, folks were out here like, okay, well, you know, high school will be easier because they're older. And I'm like, they still kids, though. Right. And they still miss their friends and they right. still want things to go back to normal. So no, they're not like, they're going to be out here <laughs> trying to live their best life and right. passing all the cooties. And I'm like, I don't, I don't want this for my life. Right. No. I, and I think that that, yeah, I don't know. I can't imagine. Like it all, it just brings me back to when this all started and how, mm-hmm. you know, there were reports you know, we were having a couple of schools who, like, people at that school were in contact with them, and so two schools closed. Yeah. Um, but then my school was still open, and then we realized that some of my students, not my personal students, but, like, students in the building, had been on a trip <laughs> with kids from those other schools. So I'm just thinking, well, how are we all not closed? Because... It just didn't make any sense that like, mm-hmm. you know, you're just doing this like, like spider web of like, okay, so now you had it and you were with who. And so yeah. it's like, you have to, you know, it's, I mean, it was like trying to contact trace right before it was like, before it was a thing. Um, yeah. But yeah, I just, I just can't see like you said, I just couldn't see take bringing, like, taking my kids into that. But it goes back to just, you know, 
the people who just don't have any other, like, they have no other way of, yeah. of uh, getting by if their kids are left at home. You know what I mean? So it's like, no, we, I, they have to go. Like, I can't, you know, and, and, and I, and I wonder what, what will be the case for some of the people in my, in the community, like what they will do with their young child if they are, are having to work. Now, it seems like most people that I've talked to who had an actual building to go to, like mm-hmm. an office building, um, they are like, well, we're not going back until the, the beginning of the year. Um, and some people are like, well, we're probably never going back. Um, so I'm sure if, if we have students who, whose parents have, you know, those type of jobs, more than likely they're still working, they're working from home, mm-hmm. then it just becomes an, uh, the issue of, you know, making that home life work with mom and, or dad or both working and one or more child, children, um, being on the computer, having to monitor them, et cetera. Um, but I think if you have, if you're an essential worker, which, you know, run the list of everybody who's an essential worker, mm-hmm. nine times out of 10, you know, who's going to watch their kids? Yeah. Um, who... You know, and so then that probably becomes like if there's multiple children in the house, the oldest one probably will be the one that needs to be the the parent in the situation. But I'm sure that oldest one has its own like and we were talking about this last week too, about yeah. how, you know, there's gonna be days that, you know, your little ones will be kind of like the oldest gonna have to kind of monitor mm-hmm. like what the others are doing while they will have to do their work too. So, um, you know, I get, I get it, um, but you know, it's, I don't know. I, yeah. I still would, I, I, I feel like I would try to make that work in some way. Um, you know, maybe, maybe this is when you rely on your neighbor, you know, if you all are in the same building and maybe there's a parent or an adult that's next door that, you know, yeah, I am working from home. I can keep an eye on. Cause I feel like, you know, I grew up in a single parent household and, you know, there were several people, you know, growing up living in an apartment complex, there were several people who um, just really watched out and, and kind of monitored a little bit of my sister and I, uh, we were pretty, I would say, pretty self-sufficient you know but you know we were latchkey kids and um and you know we um most days were home by ourselves and wouldn't have another adult home with us until nine or ten o'clock at night um and so my mom really relied on just you know our up up our upstairs and you know the neighbor to the to the uh, left of us to just kind of say hey you know just just be mindful, be, keep an eye out, you know, nothing, yeah. nothing too major, but just, you know, if you see something, let me know or call me. Um, so it's, it's really that whole, you know, it takes a village, right? Like it, mm-hmm. it really is going to take a village to help some of these communities out because, you know, they're going to need it for the next several months for sure. Yeah, that's yeah. true. And like that, that actually, Cause like now I want to, cause similar, um, like we had neighbors who, if we were any type of somewhere we weren't supposed to be, or if something looked, you know, concerning, like mm-hmm. they were there, um, mm-hmm. would call our parents, would be like, ask us like, okay, everything good. You all right. Right. And I can honestly say we talked to the neighbors like across the street that's about it mm-hmm. and then these people okay there's a family next door they don't be speaking yeah i'm like i ain't saying hi to y'all no more either hope mm-hmm. you don't need nothing get on my nerves i'm trying to be a good neighbor right. y'all can't even give like the black man head nah you can't give me like a wave. 
nothing like a church finger nothing all right cool whatever and then the other side that one like a woman bought the house I don't know that she lives there I think she just rents it out so it's always like changing who's on that other side it's almost like I don't know these people stranger danger and like the, the couple that we do speak to um it's an older black couple so you know they're about that business of like hey you need anything you know just let us know if they see anything sketchy they'll call they'll check uh, which I appreciate because like that's how I grew up I'm, that's what I'm in my head I thought that's what things were going to be like everywhere and it's like mm, everybody wasn't raised like that yeah. um, so I come to the question of okay so if you don't have that village like now that I'm saying it's your job's responsibility, that's not what I'm saying. However, yeah. like folks gotta know, like you gotta know you have employees who have kids. Like, right. is there something you can do? And I know like bringing your kid with you is not a legit option um, for a plethora of reasons mm-hmm. um, for a lot of places. But is there, is there no way to like work with people on this without them feeling like they'll be penalized. Um, and I feel like there, there has to be, but right. I just wonder if people are like looking out for those options. Like hopefully there, there will be a lot that, you know, do have people that can help them. Like, I know I was very privileged in the fact that I had um, like a lot of relatives that lived near us that, mm-hmm if both of our parents could not be there, like when we were younger, like we were staying like with a grandparent, with a great grandparent, like we had aunts and uncles in the area. Like there was always somebody that could get to us if we had to. But like with our kids, I'm like, "Mm, y'all got a few people close by, but that's it. (laughs) And they, they can't come, they can't just come get you the way people were able to just come get us. And so I'm just like, "Mm." like there's just so many, there's so many variables <laughs> that like, I appreciate thought is being put into some of them, but it's mm-hmm. always just like, Oh my God, but what about this? Yeah. What you going to do about this? Yeah. It's just all crazy. It's all stressful. Yeah. yeah. And I wonder how this will affect like some of the bigger, just because I know just my experiences in Texas and stuff that, you know, the dance, the dance company, well, I mean, I guess this summer has been interesting. Like I've seen a lot of people still try to engage in some of the dance camps for their high school teams. Um, so these companies have done a lot of virtual things. Um, I don't know how lucrative these were for them because some of it seemed mm-hmm. like they were offered at a very low cost. Mm-hmm. Um, some of these camps though, I mean, I think it's, I think it's one of those things where once this is over, I think we will reevaluate the things that we found necessary and, um, you know, could be really detrimental to some people's business. Cause I feel like a lot of these places would charge you. Like, I think we paid, well, I guess the camp itself was not that expensive. Like usually my students were paying like maybe 250 for like a five, four to five day camp, maybe mm-hmm. 300. Um, but you're getting all these routines and you're getting this experience and it's, it's pretty good. But then you add in the fact that they're staying at a hotel. Mm. And so you're in a hotel for five days. Um, most of the time they offer some type of meal plan for them. Yeah. And it was sometimes through the hotel and that's super expensive, you know? And so now, you know, you, you hope that these types of events will happen because, you know, these hotels will need to hopefully continue to flourish. But, you know, I don't know I, if I was still in Texas and still teaching dance, I think I would, I would, I would probably be like, you know what, if we can get through this year with like, some online virtual mm-hmm. camps, we, that might just be our route to go because it's going to end up being cheaper for everybody. Yeah. Um, 
and we're still going to try to mimic the same experience. Now, you know, it is nice. And, and, I, and I even wonder that even now, because, you know, this was a regional year. Um, and that just got canceled, I think, about a month ago. Or maybe a couple of weeks ago, we got an email saying that it was canceled for, uh, for next year which they only do them every other year. So mm -hmm. the next regional isn't until 2023, is that right? Yeah, 2023. Yes. <laughs> so, um, which kind of sucks, because it's like I would have loved to have taken some of my seniors to do that, mm -hmm. uh, but now, you know, they don't really get, they don't really get that experience. Um, and, but it also makes me think what other experiences could I offer them that would be pretty similar for like somewhere around the same cost, mm -hmm. maybe even cheaper. So it, so then it kind of makes me think, well, why would I even go back to regionals? Because, mm -hmm. you know, I've kind of done the work to plan out this really I mean I would I would want it to be really comparable to that so if I can do that on my own why would we spend twice or three times the amount you know just to go to Virginia every other year you know what I mean like and, yeah. and it's one of those things that maybe we would do it just because it's it is it is a fun experience for them but you know instead of like regionals is only every other year this is something that I could do every year um, and have us the same benefit from it. So I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I wonder if some of these, I would hope that some of these businesses and companies and organizations are thinking about like, how, how do we change what we do? Because what, what we, what we did in the past just may not work anymore. Yeah. Uh, True. Yeah. I will say though, I have um in the past and kind of currently had those thoughts of I could plan something out. Mm -hmm. I could make something happen. And then it's like, okay, if I do all that, then do I have any motivation to go <laughs> to anybody else's anything? And I'm like, mm, it depends on what it is. Like I am and I was talking to um Marcina about this before that I was like I have had the thought that similar to what another district does in the state mm -hmm. of arranging a um what's the word mm, call it pd I'm call it pd mm -hmm. sounds, mm -hmm. sounds mm -hmm. close enough um specifically tailored to people I know <laughs> mm -hmm. that I'm like, okay, um, do I know a lot of dance educators personally who want a traditional, throw this out there, I don't know, traditional like ballet class? No. Do I know a lot of dance educators who will be interested though in a contemporary ballet class yeah so i'm like hmm. i know people who teach that well who you know they have that solid foundation but they're able to open it up more mm -hmm. where it's not so stuffy and i'm just like i could i could finagle this i'm like i know people who do this thing um and then like the, okay, I was about to say something shady as hell. So let me not say that. Let me back the sentence, pull it back in because the full child almost came out. But okay, let me see if I can talk around this. I think I know what you're talking about. <laughs> so, <Yeah>. hey, <laughs> so. Yeah, we're on. And, we're on. Yes, <laughs> in order to offer you things that I would ask take a poll and then actually abide by the information that you give me back that mm -hmm. like, let's say if this year I offered you a 
dancing social media course and y'all are like yes however we don't want the same class again next year and you be trying to do that i wouldn't be that person who keeps doing that yeah. just saying there's gonna be an episode that i'm just gonna be shady as fuck but it's not gonna be today <laughs> because i mm, trying to be a good person so not yet we'll know when that one's coming i'll advertise yeah but you you know what i mean yeah well, no, just and me think, and be like oh we're just gonna keep giving this and i'm like but we off that give me something yeah. else like you asked we said offer those things right just an idea and so i have tossed that idea around i would need to like seriously sit down and plan but i would be be here for it because real talk um that other district that legit does their own every year Mm -hmm. i'm like we can have nice things guys we could do this and i wanted to do it before i left but then also i was like i'd be doing too much at the same time so did not really pursue that but if i were going to do it i am 95 percent sure I would specifically be dealing with um, PGCPS because I'm like, mm-hmm. well, first of all, I know y'all. Second of yeah. all, if, if I was going to say it would benefit my kids personally, but no, it wouldn't because my kids aren't dance majors and the oldest doesn't even take dance. So it wouldn't benefit my kids, none. It's just that I'm like, okay, I live in this community. Why not serve it? Right. And yeah. I miss y'all, so it would be fun. Yeah, it would be <laughs> fun. It would be so fun. Yeah, and I think that that is, that's also what I feel like this whole thing has done for me creatively um, is to be creative for myself, you know what I mean? And find ways, find ways to kind of put myself out there a little bit more than what I would have done. Because I just feel like I have more time, right? Like, I feel like, I feel like I would have been doing the man's work. (laughs) (laughs) all day every day and like really having zero time for like things that I might have wanted to do or some side projects and I just just being so exhausted at the end of the day that I just like all these ideas and plans just seem like oh I I can't do another thing or I'm already Mm -hmm. behind on doing this thing at work so you know why would I even consider doing this other thing and so I just have found that like with this, I just have more, I just have much more room to like do other things. And it's like, I really want to come out on the other side of this whole pandemic, just being more, having more, uh, more things under my belt creatively Mm -hmm. than I would moving forward like not that I think that any of these projects that I'm doing do I want them in any in any time soon want them to like take over what I'm currently doing now because I do I you know I love teaching yeah uh, at my school and I love my students and so like none none of that is like none of this is like uh oh this is my way out but it is um it has just kind of woken me up to like ways in which some of these projects could help benefit some of my own students in my Mm -hmm. own program. And I think that, um, and I think that's really what I want to be able to do is like, um, yeah, I just continue to be able to further provide opportunities for my students that I know are kind of like, they're, they're like the untraditional dancer, right? Like they're not, they're not, you know, dancing from the womb. They've not, they're not ex- like ex- super, super trained in like any one technique or style, nor do they probably even know what style they're doing, but they just have a passion to move. Mm-hmm. And I think that there is, there's a career in that. There is um, an opportunity in that for them. And so, um, Like, for instance, I was able to work on this project with a friend of mine doing a music video that's coming out August 21st. Hey! Little plug, little plug during that. (laughs) Yes! 
Um, and I was able to do the choreography for it. And I got to hire one is a, a former student of mine. The other one is a former student at from another uh, from another PG school, and another nice. student is a current PG student. Um, so, yeah, it was just it was just nice to be able to give them this paid professional mm -hmm. dance opportunity that didn't come from you know, being at Towson, it didn't come from, um, it didn't come from, you know, being at Goucher, it didn't come from because they went to Suitland and had a connection with somebody at Ailey, you know what I mean? This was like yeah. a legit project, a legit professional gig, but you know what I mean? Just because they were dance students. And I think that you know, with some of the, the projects that I'm kind of working on, like I want to be able to provide more opportunities like that, but for different, for different, um, for different events, different avenues. So we'll see. I like. We'll see. I like. Yeah, I think, um, cause like, a, in, you were in one of them, like a couple of my pieces that I'm like, though I had, current students in them and i'm like i i pay my dancers mm -hmm. so i don't be doing a whole lot sometimes because i'm like well y'all ain't got that money like the vision is huge and the bank account is small <laughs> however like i i hate to not pay my dancers and yeah. i'm like dude i will figure it out right. Right. and um like from with um intersections it was like okay as soon as i get the money from that that's usually replenishing my bank account because the first thing i'm gonna do is you'll get paid mm -hmm. and then i'm just gonna figure out how i'm gonna eat after that um because yeah. i'm like you as my dancer will get paid and my kids will eat right that's the only guarantees i have <laughs> after that i'm like i don't know We'll figure it out as we go. We'll pray for the best. Yeah. But for me, it was just such a, a huge thing to be able to give them a paid opportunity. Not a, hey, I'm your teacher. Come do this. Right. Or, you know, hey, I see you have like this potential and this talent. Here, come do this free thing. It's good publicity. Hopefully, you'll run across somebody who can do something for you. And I'm like, nah, anytime yeah. you're performing, I'm going to need you to get paid for that. I think yeah. only once I didn't. And that was because it was a class, mm. and, but they, they had to sign paperwork. Um, but <laughs> that was it. But I'm like, anything, ain't, and that wasn't even put out there. That was just an assignment I had to turn in. So I'm like, yeah, I ain't paying out for that. Could have bought them yeah. nuggets or something but you know whatever <laughs> it happened already but yeah. to be able to provide those opportunities that is something that i hope i'm able to grow a platform large enough to support mm -hmm. that even if it's not always me setting the work and being able to hire the dancers that I would be able to, when you have something come up that I put it out there, help you mm -hmm. find dancers, help, you know, grow the audience that's coming to make sure that there are funds coming in. Like, and specifically, I want to do that for like our area because yeah. not that it's not happening. I just think it could happen more. You can never have too many great opportunities. Right. Like, give people options. Because I will say, um, from my recollection, a lot of the opportunities that were put out there were primarily pushed towards those who were coming from a Suitland or, you know, we branch out even further to like, you know, Ellington or BSA, of which I'm not saying don't give them things. Like, because, you know, yeah, give them things. They be working. Yeah. But what about that baby that I'm teaching who has not been training for forever in a day, but they want it. They're hungry for it. They'll yeah. fight for it. Right. There's something out there for them too. And 
man, I need to get this girl on here. Like I just saw one of my babies um, posted on Facebook and I was like, I remember when you were trying to get out my class because you were like, this is too much. I'm not here for this. My family ain't really about me doing this dance thing. And I was like, nah, I ain't signing nothing. I mean, go ahead and try to drop if you want to, but I'm gonna need you to do this. And yeah. now this is like a whole career. And I'm like, I don't want no money from you. I don't need a shout out for all the things you get. But it just amazes me. <laughs> I'm just like, if she would not have been given the opportunity and if people would not have been like, you know, no, nah, but her, but her though. Mm -hmm. And it would have, she, if she would have only had the experience of dance of you have to have trained from birth, basically. Right. She would probably be in a completely different life right so i'm like you know anytime i'm like you know yes opportunities please like right. th there's a lot of kids that we teach that it's like you could do something with this like you ain't got to want to do this for like your whole life right but why not do stuff that you can do like why not right and i think and i know that you know i hope that other students will see some of the things that you know the student got to do and yeah. kind of realize like like, is this okay, possible? This, this is possible. This is really yeah. possible for someone not even, you know, trained. And I, and like, even for myself, I think about like even my own training and mm -hmm. my own like dance background. And, you know, I never thought someone would ask me, someone would ask me to, to choreograph a music video. I'm just like, yeah, like, okay. <laughs> Yeah, of course. No like famous it. people. Yes. Yeah, yeah, You're on that list. You're famous now. <laughs> if like, you didn't think you were putting it in the atmosphere for you, you're famous. Uh, <laughs> like I just would have never thought that. And, and it's and it's cool. And it was such an experience. And like being nervous because you know, i you know, when you've danced in so many things previously and you're like, oh now I'm the one who's doing it, it's like Mm -hmm. Okay, you know, I want to make sure that this is like really awesome and really sharp and really good. So there's, so you're nervous, but you know, it's just, it's one of those things that it's, it's nice to feel like I'm always learning and I'm always growing, even, you know, at, you know, almost 37 and like, you know, being in like the teaching game for like, you know, almost 15 years, like, mm -hmm. you know, it, it is really, um yeah it just really it just feels really good but um but yeah no i i hope that a lot of dance teachers really you know it's, it's one thing to like you know teach students to dance but it's another thing to then you know really want to give them opportunities yeah outside of like you know a, a competition like i feel like a competition isn't an opportunity for students like if anything the competition awards kind of stay with the school but doesn't really mm, it's yeah. more something that follows the student in their memory but like if you want to give them a real opportunity get them into something that's going to get them paid get them into something that they're going to be able to use after those competitions and those videos are over because like that's going to be what really even if they don't become dancers that's at least something that I think in their adult life, they can kind of say, you know, not only did I dance with a child, but I also did some yeah. pretty cool projects after that whole experience. Agreed. Uh, yeah. I agree. And nothing, and nothing against competitions either. You know, I think yeah. competitions are good for what their, for what their purposes are. But I think, I just don't know if I would say that they're opportunities. Mm. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. I think hmm. I've never, I don't think that I've ever thought of them as opportunities. Mm -hmm. Well, mm, maybe, but if I did, I, I think of them as opportunities in the sense of it's an opportunity to work on stage presence, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it, just another chance to perform, another but 
Correct. As an opportunity, as something that I'm like, oh, this could be a, a potential career path, a potential stream of income. No. No. Yeah. Um, Definitely. I, I would, yeah. I would say that. Yes. I think that that's exactly what competitions are good for. Um, and they, and they serve a, they serve a purpose. They definitely they serve a purpose in our, in our culture and in our community. But I think, um, yeah, I just had a good friend that, you know, the, her, our dancers, through some of the things she was working on and doing, just got so many cool, like they got an opportunity to work with Todrick Hall in a video mm. and they just done so many cool things. And it's like, you know, yeah, they might not have gotten paid for, but they got that experience. And I think that like, that those are experiences that, you know, yes, it's about performance. It's about working on presence and, and, and whatnot, but those are also just mem memories, you know what I mean? Like yeah. really, really in like profound or um solid memories that they would be able to take with them um yeah yeah oh wow it is a thing it is it is <sighs> all right i'm hungry so <laughs> you know, i'm raggedy today i apologize for this <laughs> Uh, I tell you. Whew. Well, on that note, though. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all for joining us here Yay. again at Dance Talk Realness. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, add us. No, but for real. Um, be sure to like, comment, follow, subscribe across all the places where you can find us. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Apple Podcasts. One of these days, I'm going to add some stuff to that list. It ain't going to be today. It may not be 2020, to be honest. But one of these days, we'll be fancy. We'll upgrade. I don't know. I'm going to put that on you, Daryl. I don't know. You're the, you're the responsible adult in this pair now. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I, I don't know what else to do. You're responsible. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions for us or any prior episodes, questions for our guests, um, feel free to drop questions, comments under any of our videos or shoot an email, dance talk realness at gmail.com. But again, I say, you know, I'll be putting that out there. I'm gonna stop doing that. Don't let me do that no more because I'm like, don't be emailing me for real, for real. <laughs> mm, sorry, that's really kind of for like the guests. Um, yeah. But yeah, you know, leave a comment, questions. We will love to read them and answer them. So we look forward to bringing some fresh new content next week. See you then. Bye.